Hello all, this is Dr. Dave Maslach talking to you about Reciprocity.com. The E is written with a three and in this particular video I want to actually talk to you about academic writing in graduate school. So what exactly is academic writing and what do you do with it? So this is part of my Monday Write series. I'm actually a professor of innovation strategy in, in entrepreneurship and um, I'm trying to build out this reciprocity platform to help out uh, people in graduate school and writers and, and other people. So um, anyways, what I want to get into is what exactly is academic writing in graduate school. So most people actually think, so from the outside or if you talk to um, a lot of different people, they're going to say that academic writing is some sort of sort of logical, very linear, sequential kind of process where you just write things down and you get to a point in a particular paper very quickly. And um, it's often, most people will often say that it's about like providing information or something along those lines and being very systematic and coming up with this great deduction that you get, right? Rather than any particular entertainment. The problem is, is that most people are actually wrong with that particular idea. Academic writing is incredibly exciting and incredibly interesting and it has to be that way because if it's not, if there's not any novelty, if it's not interesting any sort of way and lots of people will have to read this stuff, then you're never going to get the stuff published in any sort of way. It has to be interesting so that other people can pick it up and, and find great interest in your work. And that's getting through the journal editing process, getting it through conferences, getting it actually so that people can pick up the darn thing and read it. Uh, it has to be interesting. It has to be sort of a breakthrough novel idea that nobody else has thought about before. So this idea that it's very uh, linear and sequential, it doesn't make any sense because if it's very linear and sequential and easy to understand, that means that other people would have got there much more sooner and you would be just thrown out because it is too obvious, right? Um, you would never get it through the journal process. So what exactly are the features of academic writing then? Uh, so anybody that is trying to get into top journals and is an academic writer, you have to really seek novelty in some sort of way. And however that is, every single journal out there is looking for novelty. Every single professor that is going through your work is looking for novelty and new ideas and interesting and sound, but, but it has to be sound argumentation. It can't be just kind of dreamt up in the middle of, you know, just not sort of supporting in any sort of way. It has to be very novel and there has to be sound argumentation behind that novelty. So you're a lot more like the analogy that probably is a little bit better than like the sort of the dry scientist um, is that you're a lot more like a nonfiction writer, right? Or a nonfiction novelist that you're actually writing a story such that other people can follow along and make sense of what you're doing. And then once you sort of understand that particular story that you want to tell, then you have to be sort of part data scientist that you have to get and gather whether it's qualitative or quantitative data and put this all together so that it makes sense, right? So often um, what you're trying to do, a huge part of academics and a huge part of being in graduate school is you're trying to actually identify interesting insights and trying to find something that's interesting. And it's really, really hard to find anything that's interesting out there because it feels like Anything that's been interesting has been done. Um, you know, it's not true. There's lots of really interesting insights. You just have to sort of dig, dig around, try to find that particular thing and find it such that it's easy enough to tell um, that particular story. So one thing that I know that myself and other graduate students go through, I've gone through, and every single time, it's that it is too complex and it's too sort of all over the place. Um, and what we have to do is we have to take that interesting insight that we're trying to sell or trying to, to tell and make sense of that and boil it down into something that's a lot more simpler. So what you're trying to do really is a lot more along the lines. You know, one of the sort of features of academic writing is that you're actually trying to solve problems and dig down and try to solve problems within your thing that you're trying to study. 
and there's a lot of problems out there. It's really easy to find these things if you just start to take the time to think about what they are, but it takes time to think about these particular things. Um, so what do you need to need, what do you need to become an academic writer in graduate school? Well, I think that there's probably, you know, three sort of simple things that you need to do. So you need to find academic writing, you really need to find some sort of puzzle that you're interested in. That means you have to read a lot and it's probably going to take you a year, maybe two years to read enough literature to understand what's going on so that you can find that particular puzzle in the literature. Um, that is, that's legitimate, right? So that's why it takes a couple of years before people actually identify those particular problems and they can actually write their dissertation or thesis. Then you have to think about a novel solution or method to actually solve that particular problem and how you're going to assemble that and sort of go about of actually solving that um, and writing it up such that it makes a lot of sense, right, of this novel solution. And then after that, what you have to do is explain why this novel uh, solution that you have is actually important and why it actually contributes to the literature. And that is really hard. And you're going to spend a lot of time thinking about that um, because there is just, you know, there's so much to write and you have to condense it into something that makes sense. So it's not at all, this idea, academic writing is not at all this sort of sequential, sort of boring, you know, this this doesn't, you know, blah, blah, blah. You're not going to get published. It has to be novel in some sort of way. It has to be interesting in some sort of way so people can actually pick it up and they're going to like what you have and get you'll be able to get that published because the journal editors like that. And then on top of it, um, people are actually going to pick up that piece of that, that article that you have and actually read it and start telling other people that this is a really novel, interesting insight. It is not this sort of logical, sequential, um, you know, sort of boring, step-by-step -step sequential um, process that a lot, a lot of people imagine it to be. It's a lot more like being a non-fiction writer where you are actually trying to build a case for something and trying to dig down and tell a story about something that is interesting. So that's all I'm going to talk about today. Um, have a good day, take care, and I'm looking forward to seeing you on the next video.